Welcome. This video shows you how easy it is to access your impost data and reports using Yellowfin. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a report of dollar sales by month for trend analysis, and then break it down by product category to see which products is contributing most to the dollar sales. We will start off having just logged in. To see how to log in and navigate Yellowfin, please see the previous video entitled Introducing Yellowfin User Interface. To create a report, Click Create Report. You will be presented with a wizard. Use the drag and drop builder, which is the default. This means you use a drag and drop interface to create your report. You will also use a Yellowfin view called Sales View. Impulse has prepared this view for reporting on your sales data. The Sales View organizes your sales data into easy to find categories for analysis. Click on Sales View. You will now be taken to Report Builder. Notice the steps in creating report across the top. By default, you are taken to the Data step. The Data step looks complicated, but it's actually quite simple once you understand the various sections of or panes. For beginners, the most important sections or panes are Field Search and Browse, which is here, and then along the top are the columns. For example, we want to create a report showing our total sales month by month for trend analysis. We need two fields, Gross Sales and Month. So let's find them. We type in Gross, we can drag that across. And then we type in month. And we drag that across. We can format this data more nicely by, by changing the title and the format. Call this year month and then we can give it a custom format just say we want to put in year 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 and month and we want to change this name to gross sales Next, we can go to the charts, drag in year month to the horizontal, and cross sales to the vertical. Now we get a line chart. Notice the default selection is auto charts, so that Yellowfin will choose automatically the best charts to use based on your data set provided. Let's try and get a breakdown of this by menu category. In order to do this, we need to get the data. So we go back to the data step. Type in category. Drag it in. So we have it as a data field. And now we can report off that in a chart. So what we can do is put menu category into various locations and it will create various charts for us. But first, let's change the chart type to trellis. And let's see what happens. So if we drag it above the year month, we get one chart. If we put it below the year month, we get another different type of chart. And if we drag it into the vertical axis, we get another chart yet again. 
And finally, if I drag menu category into color, we get another chart. So in this demonstration, you've seen four different types of charts, um, breaking in the same information down in different ways. The purpose of this video is not to go through all the possible options to customize reports. Please see other online videos for this. In the next video, I will explain more about the impos data so that you can find your own fields that you're looking for and make sense of the data. Thank you for watching.